Cointegration test is conducted post the stationarity test. That is after establishing that the panel is non-stationary. And the cointegration test is used to assess if there is a long-run relationship among the variables. And this can be achieved through three types of tests, of which Pedroni is one of them. And this is what we are going to focus on in this tutorial. And please also note that for the cointegration test for panel data, you have to be working with a more recent starter version, that is from version 15 up to the most recent. And for version 14, 13 and down, they do not have the the option for the cointegration test. So please ensure that you have the starter version 15 up to the all the most recent. Now when working with panel data, always remember to declare your data set to be panel. Go to statistics, then to longitudinal so panel data set up and utility, declare your data set to be panel data, select the ID variable and the time variable and then here we select quarterly and then click OK. Now we have set our panel data to be or our data to be panel. Now for the cointegration test using the Pedroni test, this is how you go about it. Go to statistics select longitudinal stock panel data then select cointegrated data then tests for cointegration here you see that you have options to select and we are working with the pedroni test so we are going to select pedroni and here we select our dependent variable our dependent variable we are going to select roa and for the independent variables, we are going to select GDP and inflation. And then we can specify the lag as 1. And then we click OK. Here you have the results. You can see that the null hypothesis is that there is no cointegration. And the alternative hypothesis is that all panels are cointegrated. Now to tell if your variables are cointegrated, check the p-value and if the p-values are less than 0 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis that there is no cointegration and adopt the alternative hypothesis that all panels are cointegrated or there is a long run relationship among the variables and in our results here we can see that the p value the p values are all less than 0 0.05 and therefore we are going to reject the null hypothesis and adopt the alternative hypothesis that the panels are integrated and therefore we are going to make the conclusion that our variables have a longer relationship. Now if you have found this content to be helpful to you please give this video a thumbs up, share it and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel.